What's up my fantastical power director peeps? Today I'm going to show all of you lovely power director peeps how to create voiceovers with power director. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use power director, click subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. A voiceover allows you to put your voice or narration over any video or image that's playing on your timeline. It's a great tool for reaction videos, documentaries, and much, much more. Let's get over our voices. As you can see, I have a clip in the timeline that I want to drop my own audio over. So I have to go into the voice recording room or the voiceover recording room. So you want to left click on these three dots here that says more. And then you can go ahead and click on voiceover recording room or you can hit F10 on your keyboard. Once the room opens up, you need to select the device that you want to use to record. So you want to go ahead and click on device. And then you have your drop down here. It shows your audio device. So you can click on that and you can choose from one of the audio devices that are available on here. And then you have your input volume. So you can change it from here. I wouldn't change it from here because we're going to change it a little bit later. And then if you have any other audio input, then you can go ahead and select that too. Now, if you don't have your audio device listed here that you want to use, then you would need to go ahead and select it in Windows. So if you want to select it in Windows, you want to go down here to the search box and you want to go ahead and type in sound settings. And then you want to select sound settings. And you want to make sure that you're in the input section. And then you want to go here to this drop down where it says choose your input device. Choose whatever device that you want to pick. You'll have a drop down here. You can choose. And then you want to go ahead and close this out. Then you might have to come back in here and then choose the device again. Now, once you're done, you got your device selected. You just go ahead and click on OK. Next, you want to select the profile for your recording so that you get the best quality audio that you can get. And to do that, you want to go ahead and click on profile. Under format, you want to select PCM. That's a PCM wave file is what's going to be created. And then for your attributes, you want to select the attribute that you feel is best. Uh, for me, I like to go with the highest quality that I can pick. So I'm going to do uh, 48 kilohertz and 16 bit mono. So I'm going to left click on that. Now, if you want to save this as a profile, you can click on save as, and you can give it a name. and click OK, and it'll save it as a profile. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click on OK. Now that you're done with that, you want to pick your preferences. So go ahead and click on preferences. If you want a time limit, like I don't want this to be more than an hour, you can pick that. Uh, if you know how long your clip is or whatever, and you want to make sure that it goes just for the length of the clip, you can put that time in here if you wish. Uh, if you want to have a delay before your recording, you can check this box. Uh, if you want to have a auto fade in at the beginning of the recording, you can click this box. You also have your auto fade out at the beginning that you can, or at the end that you can choose by selecting this box. I'm going to leave everything like it is for now and go ahead and click on OK. Next thing that you want to do is select whether you want to mute all the tracks while you're recording. So if you have audio and any of the other tracks and you don't want them to come through while you're recording, it'll still come through later when you play it back, when you play back your timeline. But if you don't want to hear all that other stuff while you're recording, which I recommend, you can go ahead and click on mute all tracks when recording. I'm not going to do that because the video clip that I'm using doesn't have any audio. So the next thing that you want to do is set your recording level. So your recording level is here and you don't want it to do what it's doing right now. Uh, sometimes when I talk, it goes into the yellow or the red and you really want to keep it in the green because if it goes into the yellow or the red, then you're going to get clipping and that is nasty. It sounds stank and you don't want it in your audio. So I'm going to go ahead and move this down and you could just, you know, talk normally and test it and see if you just stay in the green. I think I'm pretty good in the green right now. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it where it's at. Now here at the beginning, you have a fade in. So if you want to fade in to the recording, 
can select that, like hit record, and then you want to fade in, and it'll go up to 48. If you want to fade out, then you can go ahead and fade it out like that. And then once everything's all set up, you go ahead and click on the record button when you're ready. And you get this pop-up box here. It is basically asking you where you want to place the recorded audio. So you can place it on uh, the different tracks that are available right now, track one, two, and three. You can override a selected track. I'm just going to go ahead and place it uh, below track one. And I'm good there. And I'll go ahead and click on OK. As you can tell from the cell phone being used, this footage is older than your grandmother's back fat. The individual seems to be having a pleasant conversation with a colleague, friend, aggressive telemarketer, or an automobile warranty person. In any case, this conversation will most likely end badly for our friend, as scams always lead to a loss of clams. Goodbye, Benjamins. Once you're done, you go ahead and hit stop. And you can play it back, see what it sounds like. As you can tell from the cell phone being used, this footage is older than your grandmother's back fat. The individual seems to be having a pleasant conversation with a colleague, friend, aggressive telemarketer, or an automobile warranty person. In any case, this conversation will most likely end badly for our friend, as scams always lead to a loss of clams. Goodbye, Benjamins. That voice sounds lovely. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to my Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.